Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, before I get to the great week we have coming up, I want to take a step back and talk about the big storm we had yesterday. A lot to get to with this storm. First, I want to talk about the big winners or losers, depending on if you're a snow lover or not, in terms of the final numbers. And Ashley ended up being the big winner, if you call it that, 15 inches of snow, beating out Ellendale, who had 13, 11 in Linton, 10 in North Bismarck, 9 inches in Selfridge. Officially, at the Weather Service, they had 8 inches, which did shatter the old record of 3.1 inches set back in the 1970s. You can see New England with 6, Dickinson with 5.3, Glenolan with 3.8. We did get a lot of questions on Facebook about Minot. Minot really got almost nothing, maybe a dusting. And you can see here on this map, this is the current snow depth, and you can see the Magic City there just in this 1 to 3 inch uh, contour here. But you don't have to get far to the southeast of the Magic City where the snow numbers pick pick up dramatically. You can see they're down to the southeast of Bismarck. That's where Ashley got that 15 inches of snow. So a wide ranging storm for most of central and eastern North Dakota. Unfortunately, to the northwest, they got more ice than they did snow. Here's the latest DOT map. You can see, especially up to the north, still dealing with scattered ice and, and compacted snow out there. They do have Interstate 94 nice and clear right now, a whole different story than from uh, 24 hours ago. But if you are still up north and you're traveling, don't uh, you know expect a slick spot or two. If you're wondering about how we're doing with snow this year, we are well ahead of schedule. 30.2 inches so far this season, well above the average of 11.5 inches. This is the all-time record at this point of the year. The most snow Bismarck has ever had was the winter of 91-92, where they had 31.4 inches. You can see we're just under that. This time last year, just 8.1 inches, so blowing that out of the water. Satellite radar picture is nice and quiet tonight. You can see that picking up a little bit of that fog right now. You can see half-mile visibility in Bismarck under half mile in Linton and Mowbridge. And you can see that on the uh, Bismarck camera here looking at downtown. Lots of fog out there with a temperature of 19 degrees right around that dew point. And when the dew point temperature and the air temperature get close, you get the development of fog. Temperatures elsewhere across the region, mostly in the upper teens, lower 20s to the north. I'll put precision cast into motion. And this is going to run all week. Just some cloud cover. You're not going to see much precipitation. Actually, no precipitation all week. Lots of sunshine, warmer temperatures. We'll see some southerly winds, which should help to melt some of that snow that fell uh, yesterday and over the weekend. Also, today is the first day of winter in the meteorological community. Today's the first day of meteorological winter, and that is January or December, January, and February, because those are the three months with the lowest average temperatures. Your forecast tonight for the Bismarck area, 16 degrees. We'll see that fog. It will thin out as we get toward the dawn hour. Same thing in the Minot area. I think that fog will start to dissipate by the time we get on the other side of midnight. Your three-day forecast for Dickinson, very comfortable temperatures in the lower 40s, sunny and breezy on Tuesday and sunshine on Wednesday. Same thing for Williston. You can see the camera there still covered in a glaze of ice, but nice temperature there to melt that ice over the next three days. Here's a look at tomorrow's highs. They will be uh, slightly above normal to the west, cooler to the east and the southeast where that snowpack is holding temperatures down. Your extended forecast for Bismarck, lots of sunshine and warmer temperatures over the next seven days. Don't have another chance at precipitation until late next weekend with a clipper rolling through. And here's the extended forecast for Minot, average high of 28 degrees. Lots of sunshine all week, Renee. Comfortable temperatures, not too many days with a lot of winds, and then that snow for the end of next weekend. Always opposites, following one after I know, the other right? in weather here. But yeah. happy first day of winter. That's right. Thanks so much, Robert. Coming up next in sports, despite the snow this weekend, a flurry of top plays will be coming your way right after the break.